A few months into the school year, many Indiana teachers are already preparing their students to take the state's new I-STEP Plus test next spring. Meanwhile, they're still waiting to see scores from last year's test, and they could have to wait even longer. The State Board of Education voted Wednesday to stretch the process out longer because of concerns raised by Department of Education staff. Rachel Morello of our State Impact Indiana Education team is here to explain the board's decision and what another delay could mean for schools moving forward. Thanks, Joe. Mm -hmm. The issue at hand involves differences in the level of difficulty between the online and paper pencil versions of the annual test. Schools have the options to give either one. State Department of Education staff say there are always differences between the two types, which is why they complete a regular study to compare them. But board members questioned whether that study needs to be completed before the board can go ahead with setting cut scores. That's the point that determines passing versus failing. They had planned to do that at their meeting this week, but decided to wait until they could see more information about the two test formats. The big question is whether the delay will mean schools have to wait even longer to see their students' I-STEP scores. Board members had previously hoped to get scores to schools by December, a deadline that had already been pushed back once before. Board member Sarah O'Brien says she's pleased with the board's decision to work to get things right the first time around, but adds that she knows schools are waiting. At this point, we're getting them so delayed that we have students that are not getting um, fine-tuned adjustments to their education that might be afforded based on the results that we might see. Remember, I-STEP is just one link in a larger chain. Those scores affect things like school accountability grades and teacher evaluations. State Superintendent Glenda Ritz says she hopes the issue can be addressed in a timely manner, so the board's timeline will remain intact. It's a very complex um, system when you're talking about accountability, extremely complex. Um, and when assessments are involved and you're talking about validity and you're talking about a brand new assessment that we gave last time, um, issues are bound to arise. And so we'll just address them and move forward. That could happen as soon as October 28th. The board has a special meeting on the books for that day to discuss new high school diploma recommendations. So if reviews are completed by then, board members could vote to establish cut scores during that meeting. Joe? And meanwhile, the state is moving to a new test vendor, so it'll be interesting to see how all this comes together this next year. Yeah, definitely will. Thank you, Rachel. Thanks.